Are you ready to witness the future of space exploration? SpaceX is about to drop S24B7 into the sea and it's a moment you don't want to miss. Hello and welcome back to Amped Up Tech, where we keep you updated on all things space and tech. SpaceX is about to perform a historic drop test with its latest creation, the S24B7 Starship. Stay tuned until the end of this video as we unfold all the interesting facts about SpaceX's Starship and its drop into the sea. But before we get into the details, let's just lay down a disclaimer. The Starship project is still ongoing and the specifications are constantly changing. So, the information we'll be discussing is based on the current information available. However, if you believe that there's any mistake or improvement that can be made, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Anyway, getting back to the topic, let's see how SpaceX is going to make a difference in the world and how the new Starship is going to be a great solution to problems and limitations faced by the Falcon series. SpaceX has been revolutionizing the space industry with their reusable Falcon launch vehicles. The boosters and fairings of these rockets have been successfully reused, which has significantly lowered the cost of space access. But the current Falcon series rockets have some limitations. They're only partially reusable and can only handle low payload missions within Earth's orbit. This is where the Starship comes in. It's specifically designed for complete reusability of both the Super Heavy rocket and the Starship spacecraft. It's capable of handling a variety of missions, from delivering larger payloads into orbit, transporting crew and cargo to and from the International Space Station, to even lunar and interplanetary missions to Mars. Now, let's discuss some other dynamics of the Starship. Number 1. The Flight Sequence The flight sequence of the Starship and Super Heavy Rocket is a complex process, but we'll break it down step by step. 2. The Liftoff at liftoff, all 33 Raptor engines will operate at full thrust. The Starship will initially ascend vertically, then pitch horizontally in the direction of the desired orbit. The Super Heavy and Starship will reach 65 km altitude and remain in this position for 2 minutes. Number 3. Separation After providing the Starship with as much horizontal velocity as possible, it will separate from the Super Heavy and immediately flip over. The Starship will then begin its descent back to Earth. Number 4. Super Heavy Return The Super Heavy will execute a boost back burn by igniting a number of its center engines, cancelling out horizontal velocity and changing its ballistic trajectory back to the landing site. The Super Heavy, made entirely of stainless steel, will withstand the scorching compressed air as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. The boosters will be guided to the landing site by the grid fins that have been deployed. When the Super Heavy is directly above the landing site, its inner Raptor engines will perform a landing burn to activate the landing legs. Number 5. Starship Return After delivering its payload to the desired orbit or completing its mission, the Starship will return to Earth. It can be refilled in orbit by a tanker Starship for a lunar or Mars mission. The Starship will enter the atmosphere belly first at a 60 to 70 degree angle to expose as much of its cross section and achieve significant aerodynamic drag. The Starship's four flaps will control pitch, yaw, and roll while maintaining stability. The Starship's stainless steel and heat shield tiles will withstand atmospheric temperatures upon re-entry. Number 6. Belly Flop to Tail Down Maneuver As the Starship approaches its terminal velocity of about 200 km an hour, it will execute the Belly Flop to Tail Down Maneuver. This maneuver involves firing three seal lever Raptor engines at maximum gimbal angle using header tank reserves and tucking in the rear flaps to pitch the vehicle's nose up as quickly as possible. The Starship will overcorrect by swinging backwards to cancel out the horizontal velocity, before straightening out and softly landing on target. This innovative spacecraft is made up of two components, the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy Booster rocket. Both are constructed from stainless steel 30X, designed to withstand extreme temperatures and engineered for full reusability. We'll dive into the details of the Super Heavy and the Starship, their engines and how they work together to transport passengers and cargo to their destinations. Number 7. Super Heavy The Super Heavy is the first stage or booster of the Starship system. It is responsible for carrying the Starship into orbit and has an impressive 7,590 tons of thrust. The Super Heavy is equipped with 33 Raptor gimbaled engines and contains high-density liquid oxygen and liquid methane as its propellant. The engines are arranged in a circular pattern, with the center engines capable of gimbaling and deep throttle, essential for soft propulsive landings. 
The Super Heavy also has autonomously guided grid fins near the top, which function as air brakes and six deployable landing legs for a safe return to Earth. 8. Starship The second stage of the Starship system is the Starship spacecraft itself. With 1,500 tons force of thrust in a vacuum, the Starship is powered by three Raptor sea level engines in the middle and three Raptor vacuum engines on the outer ring. The propellant tanks are double walled and autogenously pressurized, making it easier to maintain pressure and temperature. Two header tanks serve as reserves for the landing phase, providing a constant source of propellant. The Starship also has two forward and two rear flaps, which aid in control and stability during re entry, and heat shield tiles for protection from orbital velocity. There are various variants of the Starship for different purposes, including the crew variant, tanker variant, cargo variant, and lunar lander. 9. Payload The Starship has a payload fairing that measures 9 meters in diameter and 18 meters in height, with a usable volume of approximately 1,000 cubic meters. This fairing protects and houses crew and cargo during the mission. The Starship can transport over 150,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, 21,000 kilograms to geostationary orbit, and even to Mars with orbital refueling. 10. Raptor engine and propellant The Raptor engines are specifically developed for the full reusability of the Starship system. These engines have throttle and restart capability, and some are gimbaled for high degrees of control. The engines utilize super-chilled liquid methane and subcooled liquid oxygen as rocket propellants in a full-flow stage combustion cycle which increases efficiency and extends the lifespan of the assembly. Now, after you've learned all about the Starship, you must be wondering, why the sea? Well, the decision to land it in the ocean is a necessary precaution to minimize the risk of breakup on re-entry for this first attempt, as well as to comply with Federal Aviation Administration regulations for public safety during commercial space transportation operations. And there you have it, folks! The S-24B7 Starship is set to change the game in space exploration, with its complete reusability and ability to carry larger payloads and even embark on interplanetary missions. We can't wait to see what SpaceX has in store for us next, and we'll be sure to keep you updated on all things space. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.